The last time I was in the chair, I forgot the question. You smiled at me, kicked me out straight away. So I wrote a wee note here to remind myself. You can't hear? They'll, you'll warm up and they'll get you. Okay. <laughs> so, from everything you just said, when I first was introduced to you on a plane in my head, the next day, told a different story, literally changed my life around within three days. It was fantastic. Because and you had put plenty of things in the vortex, you didn't know enough to get in your own way, you believed what you heard, practiced it a little, got rid of all resistance momentarily, and what you wanted showed up in obvious ways to you, and you said, I can do this. Overnight. We love that story genius. next. <laughs> it's good. No, no, it's all good. I'm not going bad. I'm not... So, and that was for work and business, and then there's just a couple of other things. And I've been plodding along for a few years, and it's brilliant. It's really, really good. And there's a couple of things, and I'm like, Sean, you've got to get your head around this. It's, I've been So long. beating up on yourself help on a regular basis? Absolutely not. So, so rather than you've got to get your head, you've got to stop doing that thing that you're clearly doing, and you've got to start doing that thing you're clearly not doing in order, you've got to get your act together. Mm -hmm. that, that kind of, you don't like that when other people say that to you, and you don't like that when you say that to you. So is there a kinder, gentler way that you could express that. I'm really looking forward to getting my head around this. No? I'm really for looking forward to doing that thing I haven't figured out okay, how to do. All right. Okay, okay. I really want to um, do that thing I haven't figured out how to do. Let's see, maybe I can smile and use better words. <laughs> but the universe does not hear what you say. The universe hears what you mean. So what you want to do is mean something different than what you mean in other words you get what we're saying you have to find a way to here's a here's an easy way of looking at it let's say you're a hundred thousand dollars in debt and you want to be a hundred thousand dollars in the black so there's a two hundred thousand dollar spread from where you are and where you want to be well it's unlikely that you are going to accomplish that in terms of manifestation right now this red hot minute but it is possible for you to have a vibrational shift it is possible for you to move within the next two or three or four or five or ten minutes from worry to ease. You can accomplish that vibrational shift. And that is the work. Because if you understand that that's the work, then you're not trying to fill the grid in by saying the right words or by doing the right thing. Because when you're taking action from a vibrational vantage point that's more in harmony with the problem than with the solution or the question than the answer, everything you say or do adds impetus to the resistance rather than to the allowing. It, it's what we call trying too hard. You mean well, it just doesn't work. That's why so often you sort of just have to give up. You say, oh, never mind. And you don't mean you don't want it anymore. You mean you're not going to give yourself a hard time about it anymore. Does that make sense to you? You gotta be nice to yourself. You've gotta be really nice to yourself. And when you're nice to yourself, you feel good. When you're nice to yourself, you feel hopeful, not discouraged. So you have to find a way. Now, maybe it's better to stay off that subject altogether and just Think th about the subjects that it's already easy for you to feel good about because that works. You don't have to get focused upon that specific thing that you want to have done. You just have to stop doing that thing that pushes it away. So if you don't think about it, you're going to stop doing that thing that pushes it away. How about that? But most humans think, oh no, I have to wrestle this to the ground and kill it. I have to make this happen. And we say, that isn't the way that it works. You've already made it happen. It's happened. It's in your vortex of creation. It's happened. You just got to stop doing that thing that keeps you from seeing what's happened. You just got to stop doing that thing that tunes you to a frequency where you can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it or feel the emotion of it or, or receive the impulse about it. That was really good. That was really good. And that, that represents the reason that nearly everything that you want that represents the reason that everything that you want is taking longer than you want it to to come that right there that right there so how do you find the feeling place of something that you don't have yet well try a little 
it helps. Or remember something like it. Esther will say, mm, I remember this and I liked it. So I'm just going to think about that. Because even though it's not happening right now, thinking about it gives me that same feeling of liking it. So if you're thinking about something or even imagining it or I saw it in a movie once or, or, or I remember it or I can imagine it, just activate it within you. We'll hear you. Well, it's irrelevant now, I guess, because <laughs> you just explained Unless it. you want to practice. Okay. Unless you want to practice it. Okay. So, so are you saying to us that things are going really well for you, but there are just a couple of things that, yeah. that you would like to shine a spotlight of what on? Mm -hmm. now, th this is important. So, so what do you think? Because you know how you feel about it. What do you think is your best way of preparing your climate? To take the couple of things that you're sort of frustrated about and talk about them or to take the myriad of other things that you feel great about and think about them. What's the best way for you to prepare your climate to receive yet another thing that you want? Are you hearing this? To think about the good stuff. Yeah. That's so easy, isn't it? Yeah. And <laughs> it sort of bothers you, you deliberate fiends, because you want to hit things more head on than that. So the question is, can you hit it head on and still feel good about it? We've been talking for a while about step one, which is the contrast causes you to ask. Asking is step one. Step two is source answers. That's what this vortex of creation is that we're talking about. That's the vibrational reality all queued up. And then step three is you being in a place where you are, you've, you are in this moment in a soft, easy, non-resistant, resonant state of being so that you can realize the manifestations of what's in your vortex. And then Esther says, and then what? And then what? And we say, and then you're going to do it again, and then you're going to do it again. Step one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then what? And then what? And so then we say, if you practice this enough so that you're steadily there no matter what, so that you are no longer knee-jerk responding to the conditions or the comments of others, but you are responding to the climate that you have established. Now you are living a step four experience. Esther said, please call it step four. Please, 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 <laughs> please call it step four. Please call it. So what's step four? Step four is when I am consciously aware of so much well-being that's happening all around me that nothing dissuades me from my knowledge of well-being and this is irrelevant and this is irrelevant and this is irrelevant and this is irrelevant and when it comes into relevance I will recognize it but I'm not going to use that or that or anything as my excuse to hold myself in vibrational discord with who I really am and what I really want. In other words, I'm no longer going to make mountains out of molehills. I'm no go longer going to beat the drum of something just for the sake of feeling enough momentum that now someone else will jump on that bandwagon with me. I'm going to care first and foremost about how I feel. We think we've convinced you. You have. Thank you. In fact, we think you are so convinced, so knowing, and so there that you could actually speak in positive terms about something that you do want without right now offering resistance to the equation we think that you're ready for a step four moment w want to want to do it absolutely so let us hear it um i want i want to be surrounded in my life i i want to be surrounded I am, surrounded. I am surrounded. I am surrounded. I am surrounded. Feel the difference? I am. I am surrounded by Getting people. Getting better and better at seeing it all the time. I'm surrounded and seeing it better and better all the time. They're everywhere. And I want to be so joyful that I only attract I am that. so joyful. I feel so good. My life is so good. There is so much evidence of this well-being. There's nothing serious going on here. I haven't got a thing in the world to worry about. This is co-creation at its best. I so love my point of attraction. I so love this cooperative universe that is playing with me. 
I so love all the co-creative partners that are letting me know what I've what I've got going on vibrationally I love knowing what I've got going on vibrationally I just love it. I love knowing what I got going on vibrationally I love tweaking my vibration and watching the results this is co-creating its best life is so good for me I love being here I really really love being here that's it <laughs> that easy thank you genius Wait.